It's not surprising that many gamers are constantly in search of a discount on the titles they want. Lots of AAA titles cost around 60 US dollars at launch and tend to stay that way for quite a long time after release. And with digital distribution being the norm these days, it becomes very difficult to sell your games later on after you've gotten tired of them. And even if your taste in games isn't big budget titles that require a big upfront cost, you can easily spend tons of money on DLC, even after buying a cheaper game. Or you can just pay on both ends. <laughs> Easier. As a result, a number of gray market online stores have popped up, such as G2A and Kinguin, that offer digital game keys from third-party sellers at prices often far lower than you'd find from traditional stores or directly from the developers. But how do they keep their prices so low? And is buying from these places a good idea? Well, these keys can come from a variety of places. G2A claims that many of the keys for sale on their site come from wholesalers that buy them in bulk from game studios, while others are sold by folks who take advantage of promotions such as humble bundles and giveaways, then flip those codes for a profit. <laughs> Entrepreneurs. However, many codes are acquired by much less ethical means. It's not uncommon for unscrupulous resellers to pose as game journalists or YouTubers, <laughs> rude, and attempt to trick developers into giving out review codes, or for them to buy codes in one region of the world where a game is cheaper and resell them to folks elsewhere, denying the game studio a sale in that other location. But considering it's not that hard to steal a credit card number, many keys are simply purchased with a pilfered Visa or MasterCard and resold at a very low price. In fact, earlier this year, G2A promised that it would pay developers 10 times what they lost in credit card chargebacks for any stolen keys that ended up on the G2A platform. However, G2A also downplayed how often this actually occurred. And while G2A said that they wanted to allow game studios to block certain keys from being sold on the platform, indie game developers specifically wanted many of their games to be delisted from the site entirely, since they're more vulnerable to financial harm than the larger developers. But G2A refused to do this. And this problem isn't just specific to game keys. Many major online game stores like Steam no longer sell keys, instead assigning a specific copy of the game to the account that bought it. Again, perhaps with a stolen credit card, Yet it's still possible to transfer access to buyers who might not be aware that they're buying a stolen game through gifting systems such as Steam Gifts. And regardless of whether it bothers you that you might be buying a stolen or otherwise ill-gotten copy of a game, you do run the risk of the game studios deactivating your copy if you found out it wasn't legitimately obtained. Ubisoft did exactly this back in 2015 to gamers who already bought and activated games from reseller sites that were originally obtained with a stolen credit card. The move spurred outrage among gamers that didn't realize that they had bought a stolen game. And although Ubisoft did ultimately restore access to players that had already activated their games, they didn't give any other recourse for other resold keys. Doing the right thing, maybe not in the best way. Okay, Riley, I get it. These game marketplaces are shady, but how can I save money on games without using them? I, I got kids to feed, man. Well, the good news is that sites like Is There Any Deal make it fairly easy to find out if a game you want is on sale at a seller known to be legitimate at any given time. And you also have the option of buying game bundles at a significant discount. There are also game subscription services such as EA Access and Xbox Game Pass that lets you play from a library of titles for a flat monthly fee. And down the line, you may even have the option to legitimately purchase used digital games from others. Earlier this year, a French court ruled that consumers have the right to sell their unwanted Steam games, assuming Valve doesn't win their appeal. So hopefully buyer's remorse over digital games will soon become a thing of the past. In the meantime, you might want to think twice before pre-ordering that copy of Dishwashing Simulator 4, even though it sounds incredibly fun. You know what is incredibly fun? not getting your credit card details stolen. So check out today's sponsor, privacy.com slash techquickie for a free, easy to use service that hides your credit card number. Ooh. You see, it works by creating a virtual card number that's locked to whichever merchant you're shopping at. So even if the merchant gets hacked, the bad guys won't be able to use your card number anywhere they please. And if they try, you'll get a push notification so that you're always in the loop and can cancel the card immediately. Privacy.com is PCIe DSS compliant, uses military grade encryption to secure your information and offers two factor authentication. And since they make money from merchants, there's no cost to you. 
If you sign up today, you'll get five bucks. Check it out today at privacy.com forward slash tech wiki. That's privacy.com forward slash tech wiki. Check it out right now. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, dislike, check out our other videos, and comment below with video suggestions if you have them. If you don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> we got some more ideas.